Lesson 301 And God Himself shall wipe away all tears. And what is the second coming? Christ's second coming, which is sure as God, is merely the correction of mistakes and the return of sanity. It is a part of the condition that restores the never lost and reestablishes what is forever and forever true. It is the invitation to God's word to take illusion's place, the willingness to let forgiveness rest upon all things without exception and without reserve. It is the all-inclusive nature of Christ's second coming that permits it to embrace the world and hold you safe within its gentle advent, which encompasses all living things with you. There is no end to the release the second coming brings, as God's creation must be limitless. Forgiveness lights the second coming's way, because it shines on everything as one and thus is oneness recognized at last. The second coming ends the lessons that the Holy Spirit teaches, making way for the last judgment, in which learning ends in one last summary that will extend beyond itself and reaches up to God. The second coming is the time in which all minds are given to the hands of Christ, to be returned to spirit in the name of true creation and the will of God. The second coming is the one event in time which time itself cannot affect. For everyone who ever came to die, or yet will come, or who is present now, is equally released from what he made. In this equality is Christ restored as one identity, in which the sons of God acknowledge that they are one. And God the Father smiles upon his Son, his one creation, and his only joy. Pray that the second coming will be soon, but do not rest with that. It needs your eyes and ears and hands and feet. It needs your voice, and most of all, it needs your willingness. Let us rejoice that we can do God's will and join together in its holy light. Behold, the Son of God is one in us, and we can reach our Father's love through Him. And God Himself shall wipe away all tears. Father, unless I judge, I cannot weep, nor can I suffer pain or feel I am abandoned or unneeded in the world. This is my home because I judge it not, and therefore is it only what you will. Let me today behold it uncondemned. Through happy eyes, forgiveness has released from all distortion. Let me see your world instead of mine, and all the tears I shed will be forgotten, for their source is gone. Father, I will not judge your world today. God's world is happy. Those who look on it can only add their joy to it and bless it as a cause of further joy in them. We wept because we did not understand, but we have learned the world we saw was false, and we will look upon God's world today. Amen. <laughs>